The normally straightforward Rules Committee meeting to vote on which bills to place on the session agenda began with questions about a document indicating that none of the bills to be considered met the committee's own submission deadline. If it didn't meet it, we don't have any bills for session. Either we recess this meeting and get a correction to this, other, or we're operating off of something that we made a commitment to not placing bills that do not meet the requirements. Either we correct that or I'm going to have to object because this is exactly what we said we wouldn't do. But others like Senator Tello Tidegui and Rules Committee Chairman Chris Barnett point out that it's more an internal process and not a formal rule. It basically is a guideline for committee and rules to get the senators to put their, their stuff on the agenda. This, these bills have met in every way moving forward. We will meet the open government law. The committee on rules deadline is really an internal deadline for the committee on rules. Um, and <laughs> we're going to take a short recess, guys. They came back and the rules committee released another document indicating the bills in question did meet all the requirements, but it still didn't quill the debate. You have made a representation that they are not ready to be heard. I don't, uh, I think that an injection of chaos into the process, which is happening right now. I just ask you, which rules are going to be modified into the future? This is a lively rules meet, probably the most interesting one I've been to. It's my first one in a long time. Um, I understand the point. I certainly appreciate the point that Senator Fisher has made with regards to this. So I really appreciate the concerns that have been raised. And I also understand, Mr. Chair, your clarification. I appreciate it. And of course, I'm sure in the future, uh, we won't have this problem. So. I'm supporting the objection because the way this first list came out. If the chair, or if I need to make the motion to accept the second document so it can override everything else, I think the objection will be neutralized. And that's what they did. And so several bills, including one to address fentanyl overdoses and full transparency from the Medical Campus Committee, were placed on the agenda. Nestor Lacanto, KYM News.